What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How are we all doing my brothers and sisters? Uh, today it's one of those days, right? Do not flip your camera around. I got you brothers, okay? Bruh. This is how everybody's looking like. These are our Call of Duty streets tonight and what you're about to see is gonna change your reality, Bruh. okay? Clench your butt cheeks, sit down, fasten your seat belts, because uh, today it's one of those nights, okay? And recently around the streets, guys, like this is, I know this is a friendly UAV online, this is friendly UAV online, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the homie emo blame truth, okay? We are under that era, and Captain Canada, we, we also gotta talk about Captain Canada, and you're gonna find out what truly is going down. Guys, I got a bunch of stuff that I wanna show you. Like and subscribe. I'm also streaming a ton over on Twitch as well, so definitely follow on Twitch. Let me show you some and let's get into this one. If you take nothing else Bruh. from this video, Call of Duty is dead. And I, I've said that before, a lot of people have said that before. Mostly hyperbole, mostly exaggeration. Okay. Obviously, the game's still selling well, although this past it year it didn't sell well. Yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of people were tricked into buying Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, because that game lost a ton of players, and we have the data to back that up, at least on Steam. So, you know, regardless of its problems, people buy it. Do people yeah. play it? Mm, not very nah. long, it seems, but that's okay. Yeah, so you want to just play, like, hard for a solid week, then they play a little bit here and there for a month, and then they, like, just skirt, then they just dip, you know? Because they release a game every year. Or as bad as the games are, they have a pretty good business model. You know, they're making more money than ever because they know yeah. how to make bank. They know how to cash I it. I mean, listen, if all you sell is, like, a friendly... I mean, come on, man. Like, you are gonna be making banks. But you know what? This is also happening in the community right now. Before I jump into this uh, and talk about, like, the homie Captain Canada, like, the homie Atari, little Atari, like, guys, uh, you also need to see this, okay? This is gonna change your reality. So, you got the homie 402 Thunder. He kind of pieced out as well. Like, he, uh, he, he would make videos here and there. But the funniest thing here is this, okay? So, this entire week, we started hearing that Activision has removed the the, the anti-cheat the ricochet right as Nero Cinema would like to say uh, ricochet so they we heard rumors about it Call of Duty Activision, they come out and they say that, bro, that's not the case. Okay, that's not the case. The anti-cheat is still working. And I'm sitting here, dog, like, this is embarrassing, bro. Like, it would have been 10 times better if you said that, yeah, guys, like, the anti-cheat is taking a break right now because, you know, there's so many cheaters. Bruh. The anti-cheat is, it just cannot keep up, right? It would have been 10 times better if you guys said that versus saying that it's working but you know what it's not function because you know there's so many cheaters you guys get you, you, you feel what i'm saying like it cannot even remove the cheaters then fast forward now engine owning one of the the biggest cheating company ever okay that exists on planet earth they come out they say that this was a targeted detection against another provider and we are still undetected, guys. Bumbaka! There we are, man. There we are. I don't know what's happening, dog. Shout. The suits are running the show here, and that's why most things suck now. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. Call of Duty, as of February 21st, 2024, though, is dead. What do I mean by that? Well, I have been just seeing everybody on my Twitter timeline, and I've been doing a lot of research this week to bring you guys this video, just constantly browsing Reddit, constantly browsing uh, Twitter, constantly browsing any form of, of social media to yeah. just see what the general consensus is, what the vibe is for yeah. Call of Duty. And all I have seen it's cheaters. cheaters. Holy crap. Cheaters <laughs> are everywhere. Oh my god. And Yo, what the hell was that? I mean, man, listen. If if GTA 6 turns out to be bad, I'm gonna become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd of 2025. On God, bruh. Bruh. And if GTA 6 doesn't come out before December 32nd of 2025, I'll still become a monk, okay? And I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is just like, I don't know, maybe this is just in a vacuum. Like, maybe I'm just being fed this by the algorithms of these social medias, and yeah. maybe it's not that bad. But then I saw a video that it changed uh -oh. my entire perspective. Uh oh I, 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 <laughs> I initially <laughs> thought that Call of Duty would die because of their bad decisions. In a way, this is a bad decision. Their lack of anti-cheat, the, the ricochet bullshit they have. In a way, this is factored in, but I think the actual killer of this game will be the cheat companies. Yeah. And you yep, know what? Yep, yep. At this point, I'm all for it. Here's the what? thing, man. There are the very obvious cheaters, right? The very obvious cheaters. The ones that wall hack, the ones that you can yeah. just tell are cheating. They're yeah, the ones that like you. 
like the the, the, the homie face swag, right? Yeah. Right on the map, where they spin around in circles and, and snipe you or whatever. Obviously, those people are cheating. It's the other people that are subtly cheating. And I, I've seen this a little bit in Dead by Daylight as well. Yeah. The subtle cheaters are the ones that will not only be able to cheat for the live. Yeah, we did a video on it yesterday. And the funniest thing right now that's happening is this, right? Like, everybody's like fighting. And you probably heard about the homie Eight Thoughts, okay? He's like Captain Canada right now. Like, love the guy, love the humor that he throws here and there, right? But let's be real, right? Captain Canada used to hate on Call of Duty big time all day, every day. Used to make videos on Call of Duty dead, dead, this and that. And I mean, it's fine, right? Listen, man. I love the drama too, guys. Come. You also love the drama, okay? Stop, like, uh, saying, oh, like that on me, okay? Like, stop uh, doing the side thing, okay? But right now, the homie Captain Canada has done like a 180 right now. He's calling out people that say Call of Duty is dead. He's going hard at the homie, uh, you know. Uh, blame truth uh, bt the homie emo blame truth i mean listen i mean dang right like you know when the homie was in listen i i too uh, to be honest like i feel like that when the homie had this emo look to it i, I truly feel like that call of duty was kind of good though <laughs> yeah right it's as though like he became he got out of this emo zone and all of a sudden call of duty is where it's at right now it just don't don't even make sense time of the game they will never be banned for it so every time you see uh, Team Ricochet or whatever saying they've banned 12,000 accounts, which could just come back with a VPN or yeah. whatever. That's just the ones they're catching. What about the plot? Those are not the majority. But I saw a video by Caps Lock, and uh, I've been talking uh -oh. to him a little bit on Twitter. He made uh -oh. a bigger video. I'm just going to link it. I don't want to steal yeah. anything from that to put in this video. You Yo, watch this it. video, this uh, uh, honestly is a banger, and shout out to the homie Caps Lock. <laughs> We also did a video, and you definitely want to check it out. I'll link you in the pinned comment or in the end screen as well. And yeah, it was a solid video. This is gonna literally change your reality. You're gonna be, have you ever seen like Indian serials? Or if you have not, you probably know about the memes at least, right? Like this is gonna be you after, because this was certainly me when I watched that video, right? Everybody, the entire Call of Duty community is like that right now. It's just like nobody knows what's going on. I mean, everybody knows what's going on, but at the same time, it's like nobody knows what's going on because when Activision makes statements that anti-cheat, uh, our ricochet anti-cheat is working. Meanwhile, we know it's not working. I mean, if you watch this video, I mean, damn. You're gonna be looking like that. I'll, I'll definitely His link it a bit, okay? particular video, it's better than what I could do, kind of just paraphrasing it, but yeah, I'll leave yeah. a link to that in the pinned comment. But he actually talks to a cheater, an anonymous cheater in Call of Duty. And the issue with cheating in Call of Duty is you see all these accounts getting banned. These are the guys that are just doing it willy-nilly and they eventually get reported so much they get banned. Yeah. You also see people getting shadow banned a lot, which, again, if you get reported a lot, whether you're cheating or you're, you're not, you get shadow banned and that could either be justified or not. But he posts this video talking to a cheater and saying that there are so many ways to subtly cheat and yeah. you'll never get caught and he's been doing this a long time and he knows people and who the craziest thing here is that i've seen those comments and some people are like oh well uh bro is talking about cheats which is good and he's like exposing the truth but he is talking with a cheater that is that is live cheating in the game and i mean like that's kind of the truth right <laughs> Oh That's God. kind of the truth, but at the end of the day, you need, if you're gonna, like, give your expertise, you gotta reach out to the experts, okay? <laughs> now, I'm not saying that the cheaters are the experts, but that guy that was cheating, he was given the perspective, and he was bringing a lot of information, and he was exposing the truth, so sometimes, guys, you gotta go through the rough patch to be able to get the good, uh, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, sometimes you gotta, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying, I kind of have the the same right there, Bruh. but keep, let's keep it rolling. We've been doing this a long time and will never be caught. He also covered <laughs> Apex Legends finding cheats for Call of Duty, whereas Call of Duty couldn't find cheats for Call of Duty, which Bum tells you all God. you need to know about what's going on here. And this, it's this over, bro. as far as I'm concerned, this has just killed Call of Duty because <laughs> for me personally, I see this and I think no one is playing legit. So why would I even play? Even if the game was pretty. Yeah, honestly, like I would highly advise before you watch that video, I will link you in the end. Don't worry. But it's like, I highly advise you like, guess if you're somebody that's like, ah, if you're like all like happy and playing the game, you don't want to watch that video because once you watch that video, y'all gonna be like, oh man, everybody cheats this and that. Because after you see that video, you're just gonna certainly feel like that everybody is cheating because that's like the crux of the video. 
and, and all of a sudden your third eye is gonna open you're gonna start like beaming everything and everything will come in front of you and it's gonna be like that wheel that lifts off and all of a sudden you're gonna act like the the homie alex i cannot say the the, the his last name on youtube because uh, you know the algorithm Bruh. but alex j let's just say all of a sudden you're gonna be like okay the frogs like you know alex, the aliens are coming out right now and you need to lock yourself in basement you are gonna be like that guy Bruh. okay because it's gonna open up your third eye and all of a sudden you're gonna see stuff and shies that you've never seen in your entire goddamn life okay i swear to god be good i think it's complete dog water but even if the game was pretty good why would i play there are so many subtle cheaters whether it's corona zins whether it's people you know using mini map hacks or yeah, whatever you just never know what I don't, even, I don't even know what a radar hack is that's what swag said and this is what he's talking about you. there's so much subtlety with it that i, I would just be a ball of anxiety playing the game you know there, there's no point the only the only deterrent for that is to um session join billy goat 57 there won't be cheaters in these low dumb kid lobbies these protected brackets so in a way skill based matchmaking is the only way to protect yourself from the <laughs> cheaters but you kind of have to manipulate that to, to, to even, it, like it's such it's such a clown show at yeah, this point. yeah, yeah. And yeah, I bookmarked I a particular tweet. You may have seen it earlier, but it was this guy saying like, and, and to be honest, like I, I don't know whatever is happening. Like, what's going on? Truly though, because I remember when this cheating thing was first uh, started spreading. I'm talking about like Warzone One, right? Uh, uh, when it was brand new, I remember like they did, they, they did a thing where they would match make cheaters with actual cheaters and i thought that was hilarious that was uh, brilliant as well you know let and, and you know it was genius instead of like banning cheaters you put them and you match make them against cheaters and then it would be like fear when you like think about Bruh. it right cheaters playing against cheaters who got the biggest thing who got the best cheats out there right so it's gonna be one of those things cheaters play against cheaters and this way they don't have to worry about banning people they don't lose uh, the watch hours right because they're still gonna have people playing the game <laughs> and those seconds can also buy microtransactions i honestly thought that was genius though if i was activision that's probably what i would do because these seconds can keep on making accounts and that's truly what's happening why not put cheaters against cheaters it's gonna be a clown show it already is a clown show let's make it even bigger right because clearly your anti-cheat is not working it cannot ban anybody or if it bans those seconds are gonna create new accounts i feel like like the video if you agree put cheaters against cheaters i think it's gonna make for funny content on youtube cheaters are gonna play against cheaters so they're gonna get the taste of their own medicine as well and our lobbies our waters are not gonna be infested with that crap like the video if you agree i think this would be the best solution and indeed they were doing it but i'm not sure uh, about now though at this point and i bookmarked a particular tweet you may have seen it earlier but it was this guy saying like tinfoil hat theory they have to be working with the cheat companies right how can a billion dollar company oh, not crap. not take these guys out Jeez. not uh you know uh, find a solution to this problem a billion put your tinfoil tinfoil hats on right now billion dollar company literally infinite resources and it's like either you're dumb as fuck and you suck or you're doing it on purpose so tell me mm. activision blizzard microsoft call of duty either you're dumb as fuck and you suck or you're letting cheaters prosper on yeah. purpose they gotta be in cahoots with them making money or something on the side with them selling this stuff on the side like that's the only thing i can think of here guys i made a prediction about a month ago uh and it's Dang. not even a prediction it's a foregone conclusion yeah, homie but i go in nostradamus style though based on deductive reasoning and the numbers we have but i predicted that <laughs> call of duty would see the lowest numbers we have seen on steam yet and before yeah. all the people come in saying it's just steam again that's the only thing we can track because everything about I, I miss the days when you know what on black ops 1 black ops 2 i believe call of duty ghost was the last game correct me if i'm wrong but if you how long for how long you guys have been playing call of duty or gaming in general right like uh, i was born in the 96 okay i'm a 90s kid Bruh. And uh, I don't remember. Yeah, my, my first uh, console was PlayStation 2, and my first ever game was ATV Off Road Fury. Uh, I believe I started gaming around the uh, 2004, 2000. 
No, 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 not that, not that, not that. Uh, 2007 or 2008. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 2007 or 2008, and my first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1, that was in 2010, and I remember, like, it would show the player count, oh, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Call of Duty Ghost, I believe it was the last game, because, you know, Call of Duty Ghost didn't sell as well as something like Black Ops 2 and the previous Call of Duty games, and they were like, okay, bro, next game, we gotta remove that, it doesn't look good. Uh, they don't care about what you think, they care about what the investors think, right? They don't care about you and I like they're like who do you think you are who do you think who do I think I am right like they don't care about the gamers they care about the investors so when the investors were seeing numbers going down it, it they were like pulling their money out right and they were like bro like we gotta we gotta remove the player count and they did right after Call of Duty Ghost and and I miss that quite frankly and I don't think they would ever but surely they cannot remove from Steam right because Steam is bigger than Call of Duty it's a platform it's like it's PC in general like everybody knows about Steam so they're not gonna and apparently Steam is uh, still a pretty chunk of players I mean listen like a lot of toxic gamers are also on uh, Steam just like how they are on the the PlayStation the Sony ponies uh, the Xbox uh, the Xbox right this franchise is is hidden in secrecy it took us four years of just screaming at them to have them just address skill-based matchmaking and it was yeah. lawyered up i'm gonna go over that in another video it was lawyered up and they da damn he confirmed a sequel too guys like come on bruh. man he's gonna go on that in another video bruh danced around the truth even in that it took them like okay. two months to write out something that should have taken a day you know if they were actually honest about it but oh my god these people are are just weasels. They're weasels, they're pussies, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. They are afraid to show what's actually behind the veil. Uh, seriously, quote me on that. But we're going to see we're going to see the like I was saying if you watch that I I'll link you that video. I know I've been hyping that up, but once you see that video that you will uh, that I will link you at the end the whale is gonna lift up your third eye is gonna open lowest guys. player count numbers on steam that we've ever seen okay, this is let's three get into games it. in one this is not just warzone this is not just mw3 this is not right, let's just get into mw2 it. it's all three of them and every sub mode is counted with that as well so uh, multiplayer it, it's dead you know you guys could say whatever you want maybe warzone's fine i think warzone will still be fine because it's br it's free to play even through cheaters, free. whatever free technically Honestly, they should make Call of Duty free to play as well. I'm talking about the multiplayer. I I know some of you would disagree, but but like, would you want to pay like 70 bucks or you, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, the reason I say why some would some of you would disagree is because like I read my comments and you can let me know. I already foresee some of you guys saying that Skizzle, it's gonna increase the cheaters, and you are right. I'm not disagreeing with you. You're right, but guys, like already, like Warzone is free. You know what I'm saying? Like cheaters are rampant, so it's like yeah, like. If it's free, then you won't have to pay $70 and you won't have to worry about, you know, wasting your money. It's gonna be more like, hey, like, we got a lot more cheaters and we also got a lot more new people on the game as well. So it's it's gonna probably balance it out. But multiplayer, like actual Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, Sledgehammer's trying. I have to give them credit. Yeah. I, I can't sit up here and just bash them. It, I, They're better than Infinity Tart. I really do think Sledgehammer is trying their hardest and I do want to commend them. But it's like... But like giving a new paint job to a vehicle where you pop the hood and instead of an engine there's just a big pile of elephant crap yeah you know what i mean like there's yeah. no point sledgehammer like give up the ghost it, it's like i i find your channel when you were like all like emo mode and now you're not in emo <laughs> it, it, it's like a new paint job that you also got and it hurts me man it hurts me to see that you got out of that emo now honestly bro like it's very very good okay truthfully though it's good that you left that emo zone though like you, you know what like i saw your recent picks and uh yeah man like you know what i mean like i i ain't gay though but like uh still like you look good man so shout out to you man keep it up man keep it up brother just come out and say hey guys we're not gonna do anything else this year because there's no point <laughs> you know better luck next year yeah better luck what's next left year. of sledgehammer at least 25 percent of them got fired Th th this game's dead. Multiplayer. <laughs> I launched my fucking channel. I just spit all over the mic. I don't even care. I'm getting passionate up in here. Hey, yo. God knows the world needs more of that. All right? Hey, yo, time out. <laughs> Pump the brakes, bro. You literally spit in my ear right now? What? <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. You can say like, oh, BT, don't yell. It hurts my ears. I don't care. I'm going to catch a, a, a disease or something right now. Turn me down. Suck it up. Grow some balls. Okay? I started my channel on Call of Duty multiplayer and I sit up here and I yell and I scream and I, and I complain because I don't want to see it die.
And everybody else is saying, hey, don't don't complain. Hey, be nice to the devs. Hey, uh, say things nicely. Get, get, get across your point nicely. I'm going to tell you guys something. And this isn't some red pill thing. This isn't some Andrew Tate thing. This isn't any of that. I'm going to tell you this from 34 years of experience in life. All right. Okay. Being nice at a certain point does not work. All right. Being nice at a certain point does not work. <laughs> if you never listen to anything I say, listen to that. I, at a certain point, I used to be nice to the devs back in the day. I used yeah. to enjoy the games back in the day. But when I hey, hey, okay, now, nah, bro, like stop the cam, bro. Stop the cam. Stop the cam. Like, come on, man. I never seen you be nice. Like, okay, so who was the guy that was throwing suplexes? Bruh. It was you, my guy. You were always dropping suplex on the homie Joe Seagull. I know it was jokes, and I'm also joking around, but but still though, like to be honest though, like I've never seen you being nice though, bro. <laughs> I don't have that memory, but I do agree that you don't want to be like nice all the time. You want to be like honest and upfront because being nice and kissing ass doesn't get you anywhere. I I do agree with that, but like there's a way, my guy. Like you, you don't want to be dropping suplexes, bro. You yeah yeah okay. You know bruh. what I mean, right? Then this happened happens then you cannot even talk after that but guys this is one of those videos i mean i swear to god if you watch it viewers discretion is advice you're probably gonna regret it but if you want to see check it out on the left though probably got a happy video for you guys check both of these videos out and i'll see you right there